Jugo Liang marches north to fulfill the dreams of the late Liu Bei. However, he faces a counterattack by Sima Yi and dies at Ujong Plains before he is able to push his way through. His successor, Jiang Wei, is left with no choice but to stabilize domestic affairs for a time. Wu, who had joined Shu in an attack on Wei, was in similar circumstances. Troops and commoners were exhausted thanks to the continuous fighting and time was required to restore Wu's strength. With the attack by Wu and Shu ending in failure, Wei has a moment of peace from attacking enemies. However, there was one enemy Wei had to deal with during this period. Our Grand General, does he really intend to march on Mount Xingxi with this kind of formation? This plan shows no regard for the terrain and relies entirely on strength of number. Even if we do take Hanzhong this way, we will not be able to secure supply lines. Deng Ai. He was formerly a civil servant, but he was placed in charge of military affairs after his talent was recognized by Sima Yi. It was around that time that the young Cao Feng was named Emperor of Wei. His ward, Cao Shuang, began making preparations to invade Shu. This invasion showed the Cao family's concern over the recent accomplishments of the Sima family. Deng Ai set out for Mount Xingxi, unable to hide the concern he harbored inside. You are exactly right. This campaign is being fought without even the slightest hint of strategy. Master Sima Yi, I apologize. I realize my words have the capacity to lower morale before the battle. Don't apologize. Even officers with a small amount of insight would be dissatisfied with the idiocy of this formation. I prefer my men to be honest and frank. I am by no means dissatisfied. If these are my orders, then I will carry out my mission as stipulated. I simply feel, I wonder if perhaps certain dangers inherent in this plan may not have been considered. They may make it difficult for us to breach Hanzhong, or even... Yes, our approach to Hanzhong may prove to be quite treacherous. By the way, what is your name? My name is Deng Ai, my lord. Ah, so you're Deng Ai. I heard that you were serving in this army, but you are much larger and stronger than I pictured him. I apologize for not introducing myself earlier. It is only thanks to your consideration, my lord, that a mere bureaucrat like myself has been granted such an important role. I intend to give my very all to ensure that I can repay even a small fraction of the debt I owe you. I expect great things from you, Deng Ai. Now, let us go and see what we can do about bringing an end to this idiotic battle. Hmm. Master Sima Shi, I see. I have heard of your exploits in defeating Gong Su Yuan. Fine work. So, may I ask what business you have with me? As the Grand General of the Wei Army, I am a little busy, you see. If you will forgive me, my lord, I have one or two concerns regarding our formations for this battle which I would like to raise with you. Concerns? At the present moment, our forces are heavily weighted towards the front lines. If we sustain an attack from the rear, 
the frontline units will be dangerously isolated. The area around Hanchong is replete with narrow alleyways and paths, and is made for surprise raids. I feel we should redistribute our forces towards the rear to guard against that. Hmm. You Sima men are all alike. With your petty concerns and tricky rhetoric, forget about enemy raids. All we need do is defeat Shu before that happens. But now you're just being unrealistic. You can't afford to underestimate the enemy like that. Listen, this battle is led by the mighty Tao clan. We will use our superior numbers to crush the enemy and win with honor. That's the way we do things. I will lead a unit on the front lines myself and raise our flag when we claim Hanjong. You two can sit here and worry needlessly if you like. In other words, he has no particular plan, and simply intends to throw his forces against the enemies. If that's all it took to defeat Shu, better men than him would have done it long ago. Indeed. I barely know what to say to such idiocy. But there is no need for us to behave as irresponsibly as him. Come. This may not be a battle we can win, but we can certainly do our best to keep casualties to a minimum. No match for me once I get into things. I think I'll begin by taking down Hong Chong. <laughs> the wave forces are closing in. Stay calm and fight back!
We need to make sure they are airtight. <laughs> Managed to make it as far as Hanjong. Do not let the soldiers rest, no matter how much they complain. As soon as our battle ranks are reformed, we will attack Chengdu. Grand General, I have to report that the stronghold up ahead is well defended by the forces of Shu. It will be almost impossible to take down. On top of that, our supply lines to the rear are stretched dangerously thin. If we sustain an enemy raid, we run the risk of losing our supply route from Xiong An and being isolated. Silence! How dare you speak to your Grand General like that! You just want me to withdraw my forces so that I won't be able to claim the glory that is rightfully mine! No, that's not it at all. Master Cao Shuang, I must agree with Master Sima Shao. Our soldiers and steeds are fatigued and injured. To fight on would be mere folly. God. Even you would say such things, Sha Ho Xuan? Huh. Well, this was all a test. That's right. I was testing you. And it seems our men are a bunch of weaklings. There is no point in sending them any further. Order all forces to retreat. Everyone is to retreat to Luoyang at once. Thank you for the help, Master Shao Shuan. It seems you managed to convince him. I apologize for any inconvenience caused, Master Sima Chao. Master Cao Shuang is simply desperate to regain his clan's lost glory. I know, but this retreat is going to end up damaging his reputation still further. That cannot be helped. Were it not for yourself, your lord brother, and a handful of other capable officers, this battle could have had a much worse outcome. The Kingdom of Wei, Master Cao Pi and Master Cao Rui built, is now being threatened by their descendants in the Cao clan. Something must be done before Wu or Shu takes advantage. There are still those near the Cao clan, such as yourself and Xiao Ba, who are determined to use their talents for the benefit of the kingdom. As long as Master Cao Chuang refrains from more overt foolishness of this type, we should be fine. Come, we need to get back to Luo Yang.
Father, there is something I would like to talk to you about. Ever since his defeat at Mount Xingxi, the Grand General has wasted his time and money on wanton debauchery. The economic resources established by the previous Emperor are being drained rapidly, and we can barely maintain our defenses against Wu and Shu. It is dangerous to allow him to rule any longer. Dangerous? What are you saying, brother? You think we should remove Cao Shuang and seize power for ourselves? You realize that is a double-edged sword, do you not? It is true that Cao Shuang presents a threat to our nation from within. But there are still many who are loyal to the Cao family because of Cao Cao and Cao Pi. To depose Cao Shuang is likely to incur the wrath of those loyalists. At worst, it could lead to civil war. We need to be prepared if we take that path. Brother! I have always been prepared. Pouncing on the opportunity provided by what happened at Mount Xingxi, Shu has made its move. We will be at war within a few days. We must remove the disease, eating away at the heart of our kingdom before then. My lord, I hear that the Grand General is away hunting at the moment. Perhaps now would be the most opportune moment? Hmm. This could be our best chance, with Cao Shuang and the others away from Luoyang. We must move quickly. Head for the palace at once. Master Sima Shi is said to be leading troops towards the castle. My friends, do you suppose? Yes. Master Sima Shi is finally making his move. This is the moment we have all waited for for so long. Ever since his return from Mount Xingxi, Master Cao Shuang has done nothing but indulge his own baser instincts. His waste of our valuable taxes cannot be overlooked. Despite the fact that Shu is showing signs of preparing to attack us, our leader wastes our military budget on his own gratification. I've been so worried that Shu might attack at any moment that I can feel what remains of my life slipping away all the time. <coughs> Everyone, Master Sima Shi wants to see you. You all know why, I take it. Understood. We will go to him at once. Even if it drains the last of my life, I will do what I must to keep this kingdom safe. I owe everything I have to Master Sima Yi. In order to repay that debt I owe, I will carry out my mission. You have chosen wisely, gentlemen. We must head for the palace at once. This must be done before the general returns from his hunt. Thank you for coming, everyone. The Grand General, Master Cao Shuang, is currently away from Luoyang on a hunting trip. We intend to take this opportunity to strip him of his powers. Brother, I know Cao Shuang is unfit to lead, but don't you think there might be a subtler way of doing this? You need to show more commitment, Zhao. The decay at the heart of our kingdom cannot be removed by adopting half measures. This is a step that we must take if we truly wish to bring peace to the land. It is our destiny. I see. Good. We will seize Luo Young before Cao Shuang returns.
We must quickly capture Luoyang. Then we will be able to slay Cao Shuang outside the castle walls. Slay any who would come between me and my duty. Slay any who would come between me and my duty. Plague on the house of Sima! You wish to seize the glory that is rightfully ours! Time to finish them off! So you have yet to understand the true nature of our plans? Zhao Shuang, you fool! We are taking you to Shu Chong! Do you really think that you will get away with doing this? You're a minister of Zhao Wei, and you dare raise your hand to it me? It's because I am a minister of Zhao Wei. Mm -hmm. The great lord Zhao laid the very cornerstones to build Zhao Wei. The wise Zhao Pi built the foundation. I've served three generations. No. Four generations. And I have done everything I can to ensure that it would always prosper. And I will not allow a fool like you to ruin everything that we've built and worked for. You must seek the forgiveness of my lords Cao Cao and Cao Pi. When you finally meet them in the afterlife. Traitors! You dare to usurp my throne! Who sir? You say? Perhaps there really is no other way than that.
Lord Shahoba, terrible news. Lord Xiao Shuang and Lord He Yan have been found guilty of the crime of treason and have been executed by Lord Sima Yi. What? What? I mean, I know Master Xiao Shuang made his fair share of mistakes, but the death penalty? It seems incredibly harsh. Yet I suppose the fact that there's no great unrest in Luo Yang in response shows just how far the Cao clan star has fallen. It looks like the Sima are the new leaders of Wei. That's not all. Lord Shaho Xuan has also been sentenced to death for siding with Lord Cao Shuang and conspiring to plot an overthrow of the government. Master Shaho Juan? But he didn't do anything. They're just trying to get rid of anyone with ties to the Cao clan. This is just outrageous. But it does seem like the kind of thing Master Sima Shi would do. Ah, things are looking seriously grim now. Master Shahoba, I'd like to inform you that I've been assigned to assume complete command of the Shu campaign. <coughs> okay, I'm listening. It is unfortunate about Master Shuang. I hope, Master Ba, that we can work together somehow to gain merit and earn the trust of Master Sima Shi. <coughs> No, no, no! It's not going to be that simple! Uh, Juan suffered for Lord Cao Chuan's mistake. Someday it could be my turn! Um, after how many? It's no good. It's no good. It's just... Uh, I never thought that I would have to worry about my life outside of a battlefield. Uh, Come to think of it, didn't they say my cousin married Zheng Fei of Shu? <laughs> no, no, no! I can't ask them for any help. I mean, it was Shu that killed my father! <sighs> but still, I have nowhere else to go. Yeah, It's no good worrying about it. It couldn't be any worse. Let's head for Shu. Shao Ba has defected to Shu. Master Sima Shi had Cao Shuang's cousin. Xiao Xuan executed. It appears he decided that his familial ties made him an unstable element. Xiao Ba must have seen that and decided that he could be next. Perhaps my brother has gone too far. Yes. Much as it pains me to say. <laughs> you are both too soft. Master Sima Shi made the only decision he could make. Certain groups within the kingdom view the Sima clan as usurpers for their role in the Sao Shuang incident. It is quite possible that they may initiate an uprising. It is far better to eliminate such a threat before it makes itself known. But doesn't that mean we are abusing our power? Doesn't that make us the same as Sao Shuang? No. Master Sima Shi has talent and vision that Cao Shuang never had. He holds the future of Wei in the palm of his hand. Which is precisely why there are those who fear and hate him. For now, that is true. But 
It is only a matter of time before they realize Master Simashi's true worth. You must not waver. You must support your brother unflinchingly. If you do not, you will lose him. I don't like the sound of that. I guess I need to pull myself together. If you know what you have to do, it's time to show it with your actions. We must speak with Master Shi about the future. By slaying Cao Shuang, the Sima clan has seized control over the Imperial Court. There will obviously be those who object to this. Why must there be so many who are ignorant of their own mediocrity? Just like those who are jealous of my talents. Master Zhang Hui, that's enough. You always make everything about you, don't you? Hmm. Then we must begin by shutting those objectors up. After that, we will get rid of Zhao Feng and install Master Zhao Mao in his stead. Shi, at the current moment, you are still merely a man who stole Cao Shuang's position and took his place. And now, you wish to replace the Emperor as well? To an outsider looking in, you are no different than Dong Zhuo. <laughs> you feel that Master Cao Mao will make for the ideal Emperor. Have you managed to convince everyone else of that goal? I can. If I were not confident of my ability, I would never have killed Cao Shuang in the first place. <laughs> in that case, there is nothing left to say. Shi, if you feel you can make this happen, then by all means, do so. My lord. Brother, you've removed Master Cao Feng from the throne and replaced him with Master Cao Mao. There are those who now compare you to Dong Zhuo. I'd like to argue with them and reject those comparisons, but you know what? They're not far off the mark. <laughs> Zhao, I see you've developed enough spine to challenge me every now and again. Under the leadership of Cao Feng, I could not do things the way they needed to be done. That's why I had to install a new Emperor. You don't care what other people may think then? I come bearing news. Sun Chuen of Wu has passed away. Zhao, this is the opportunity we've waited for to topple Wu. Prepare to invade Wu at once. I will go and request approval from His Highness right away. Sure. This battle against U will be the yardstick by which my brother will be measured. What can I do to help? Thank you. 
Welcome, welcome. Do please come again. Hey, get on in here. Come again. Make your report. My lord, the forces of U are fighting strongly, and our army is struggling before their might. We thought that Sun Chuen's death would have weakened their resolve. But if anything, it seems to have strengthened it. Lord Simashi, I bring news! Our line has totally collapsed. Forgive me. Master Simashi. Our officers and troops fought well but could not hold out. Well, it couldn't have been helped. The movement of their vanguard was quite extraordinary. What do you mean couldn't have been helped? We have responsibility to our troops and to the people. Why would you say such a thing? Why? Zhao is right, Zhuge Dun. Victory and defeat are a part of battle. Sometimes it is best to accept defeat. I had thought with Sun Quan gone, they would be weakened. But their spirit and that advance were worthy of the old Sun Wu. Brother, shall we pull everyone back? It wouldn't be right to get them all killed for no real reason. Hmm. The responsibility is mine. By my command, have our forces fall back. I will give the order. If there's blame for losing this battle, then it shall fall on both of us. It appears my time has still not yet come. managed to split our forces in two. We must give all we have to open a path to New Puffet Castle. Our allies have been scattered to all corners. We have to gather them up and get out of here. <laughs> 